Well, hey guys, welcome to the channel. I'm glad you're here. Glad you're stopping by. Uh, I kind of want to talk about something a little bit more, uh, well, I mean, it's appropriate for pretty much what we talk about on the channel for the most part. And if you guys noticed lately on the community page, I posted this link, well, it was a picture of a guy that threatened to uh, get me for defamation, uh, saying, you know, trying to give me a cease and desist and saying that I can't use his content. And, you know, we we see a lot of people doing this. A lot of uh, these, well, we'll just call them tyrants. You know, we have delete laws. And uh, newly, we have Southern Life, which that's the one that got after me. Now, I haven't received any strikes from Chile yet, so I don't really care about that. But, you know, I've been thinking a lot, and I'm sure you guys probably know that this is, this is elementary for a lot of people. And, um, you know, just common sense. Um, a lot of these people that I've noticed, you, you start making these videos about them. There's been uh, criticism and fair use stuff uh, problems for a long time. Uh, a lot of these bigger creators that like to push drama, um, they get upset whenever they get pushed back. They can give it, hand it out, but they can't take it back. Um, and a lot of them will try to say, if you use their content, um, that they can get it taken down with a copyright strike. Now, in some cases, that is true. Now, case B is whenever I say, what if I just uploaded, let's, let's take for instance, what if I just uploaded Chili's video or Southern Life's video, no commentary, no edits, no nothing. And I just said that was mine. I named it, it's like Derek's, uh, fucking thing. And, you know, that's, I didn't do anything for it. I basically stole the content. Uh, I posted on the community page the definition of fair use. Uh, fair use basically covers if you have had any type of commentary uh, and you actually use the content in a way, splice things together, uh, that's, you know, it's not just stealing content. And I think a lot of these creators don't understand that. They think if you use their likeness on something that they can take you down. Now, I understand if it's defamation, but whatever, I do a video most of the time, and I started doing some of these drama things, um, you know, last year sometime. And Southern Life was probably nine months ago. And it wasn't until a couple of weeks ago he finally found that video and he threatened me with a lawsuit. Uh, said it was defamation. Now, the reason why I made the video in the first place, and it's cringy, uh, really cringy, because, you know, I don't have a lot of confidence in myself whenever I put myself out there. And, you know, I was still trying to figure out what I was doing. And, you know, I said some stupid things. Uh, but I always just included, say, hey, this is my opinion. Uh, you know, I never really went out and said, for sure, that's that's what that guy does. That is actual fact. That's what they do. That's Southern Life uh, beats people and poops on them. That's true. That's a true thing. He really done that. I never said anything like that. And I'm not saying that's what he said. I said... But I never said these things being fact. And most of the time, even when I do the chili videos, well, most time you hear me say, that's just my opinion. Uh, that's a lot of criticism is just opinion. Some opinion based on fact. Well, fair use is also protected by the First Amendment. And for some of these channels, like some of these auditors that say they're First Amendment uh, warriors, which we know they're not, because if they was, they wouldn't be coming after trying to sue you or take your channel down because they don't like what you have to say about them. Uh, there's always a balance. Always a balance. If somebody's going to do something, on the other side, somebody's not going to like what you do. Um, and as goes with me, some people don't like what I have to say. And uh, I respect that. I'm not going to take you down. I'm not going to threaten you with a lawsuit. That's the most beta thing I can think of next to going to your mom and telling you, Telling her that you did a bad thing, you should spank him, put him in the corner. You know, I mean, that's the most beta gamma thing you could do, possibly, is threaten somebody with a lawsuit just because, hey, somebody's calling you out on your grift. Somebody finally done it. And the vice of fair use, uh, you know, they've taken your content and they're using it in a manner that's not just throwing 
just straight up content on there with no type of edits or commentary. Um, fair, that's what fair use is. Um, and that can be applied to a lot of media, radio, TV, YouTube, music, art. Uh, a lot of it's covered by that. And a lot of people don't understand fair use. They don't. Uh, we've seen many cases in the past and even recently um, with some creators trying to take down channels. Um, who who was a one? There was a guy that tried to take down the Act Man. I forgot his name. Um, but the Act Man got kicked off, well, demonetized basically because of this guy. But he got it back after you know he's shown what this guy did. He used his content in a way that wasn't just stealing content. And you now, like I said, First Amendment is very important. Uh, I would like to say, say I, for one, uh, I'm pro First Amendment. Um, I don't care what it is. You have every right to make a video about me calling me a fat uh, marshmallow that mm -hmm. eats poop or something like that. You have that right. I can't say, it. well, I'm going to take your video down because I don't like what you said there. Uh, that's, that's not, I'm going to give you a lawsuit for defamation. If it was... The defamation part is usually based on, um, you know, they th you might, it's kind of in the middle ground is like proof, but not, um, you know, I can't just look at, say Chile, uh, beats women, like, unless I know, and there's proof that Chile beats women, which Chile shoved the woman. And that's true. That's on video. We have that. Um, but you know, I couldn't say that if there's no proof of that, because that would be defamation. You know, Chili pushed a woman. It was on video. Therefore, I can say, hey, Chili pushed, assaulted a woman. And that's what happened. There's truth behind that because there's evidence of it. If it wasn't evidence, then it would be defamation. And he's supposed to be this fir pro First Amendment guy. Uh, and a lot of things he does, and I'm seeing this on a lot of channels, it's not just Chili. Um, they like to take comments and delete them. Uh, they get their model moderators to remove chats because I don't know why. I don't know why. If you're a First Amendment warrior, if you love the U.S. Constitution, the First Amendment, you would give them people the right to say whatever the fuck they want and not be stupid. Now, I would understand if it was something like racist and vile. Uh, and you guys know what that covers. Uh, there's a lot under that umbrella. Um, but I haven't seen anybody uh, on... In my circle, in my immediate circle of friends uh, that I come into, none of them has gone out and done things like this. They've never said, hey, I'm going to sue you for doing this or that. That's Again, that's a beta thing to do. That's a gamma thing to do. You're actually using the court system, the taxpayer's money, for a frivolous reason um, for your personal gain. Even though most of the time these lawsuits do not go anywhere. Most of the time... If you have a copyright strike and it's unfounded, you can fight that and you can win that. So, Southern Life, go fuck yourself twice. Um, sorry. Um, I don't understand. I don't understand how, like, nine months has gone by and you see a video. And you said you didn't even watch it. So, you don't know what I said. So, you, you can come to my town and say all this bad shit about the town and all the people. You can say that. You had that right. I'm not going to shut you down. I'm not going to do it, but I'm going to talk about it. And I wouldn't be bringing this conversation up again if you didn't threaten me with that. So if you're wondering if this video is about you, it, it kind of is. It kind of is. Um, don't be stupid. And by the way, everything I'm saying here about Chile or Southern Life or anybody else is purely my opinion. I'm allowed to criticize people on the Internet. That's what makes the Internet so great. I mean, originally we just bitched about movies and set in chat rooms and bitched about everything else. You know, we try, I'm going to choke. We tear each other down. It's not healthy, not really healthy. And, you know, we got trolls. Trolls are awesome. Sometimes so there's good trolls and bad trolls. Um, you know, some people might classify uh, a lot of us as bad trolls. Um, you know, I like the trolling community, but I'm <laughs> honestly, um, I'm, I'm proud of it. Um, but y you know, like at the end of the day, and, and I'll go ahead and make, I'll go ahead and tell you now. So 
a lot of you know this. I've made a video about this. Um, the only time I have ever shut anybody down, I never attacked their channel. Like, I didn't go and tell YouTube, uh, you know, I might have, whenever I say something like, whenever you was trying to make a kid kill himself online or, you know, just being completely uh, a terrible, vile person, then I'm like, oh, I want to contact YouTube and be like, hey, but I'm not going to send you a copyright strike and sue you. Uh, you know, I, I blocked Laura De Laguna uh, for what she said she actually struck a chord. And sometimes that happens as a YouTube con con content creator, can't talk, or just, you know, just doing your own thing. Sometimes people are going to say things that's going to rub you the wrong way. Um, and it's just the way you try to approach these things here forward. I did unblock her eventually. I did unblock her, um, and I probably won't do it again. Like I said, the only way... I'm going to do that is if you do something completely vile and that's like racism, uh, sex, you know what I'm, you, all the things, all the bad things you just don't do things you don't do, uh, in real life. You probably shouldn't do on the internet as well. Um, but I mean, it is what it is. Um, and let me know what you guys think. Do you guys love the fact on a platform like YouTube Twitch, uh, you, you, whatever else, Rumble, Odyssey, uh, BitChute, uh, these these other channels, uh, t even Twitter, even Twitter's kind of a, a cesspool of, whoo, don't get, I'm not going to get to go there, uh, you know, I'm not going to bitch about the left, and I'm not going to bitch about the right, so that's another conversation we can have eventually, um, but you know, I love I love the fact that I can get on here and make a video, you know, expressing my opinions, uh, what I feel about certain things, movies, games, people, uh, bullies, uh, stuff like that. And you know, I had that chance. A lot, of, you know, in other countries, you might not get this chance to do these things. Uh, freedom of speech is great. The First Amendment's great. Um, but some people like to use the First Amendment and just tear it down. To fit their own personal vibe. Um, but guys, that's enough for me. Uh, are you guys pro First Amendment? Do you agree with me? If you don't agree with me, let me know. I'd like to know what you have to say. Um, again, I love you guys. I look, I'm shaking everything. Uh, I need to stop doing it. It's not stable. It's not stable. Not stable. Um, yeah, uh, what do you guys think? Uh, and again, I love you guys. Even the haters. Um, there's people that's not going to agree with me. But you know what? We're both human beings. Uh, maybe. You might be an alien. I might be an alien. Uh, that's that's to be determined. But, you know, I love you anyways. I think you're, you're, you're probably a great person on the inside. We just don't agree with each other. Uh, but guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I love you very much. Feel free to hit that subscribe button. Uh, there will be more content along the way. Uh, streams coming soon. Um, we're going to have fun. We're going to have fun. This is a big, long month of craziness. Uh, rather be the wedding and house stuff. You, you guys know what's going on. It's, it's pretty wild. Pretty wild things. And I hope everything in your life is going well. Um, you know, like I said, there's, if you can always reach me out on email, um, and I'll try my best to get back with you. Uh, I do have some things in the pipeline that I want to work on, such as getting people's stories out. And let them kind of talk about mental health and such and such. And uh, yeah, thank you so much, guys. I love you and I'll see you soon.